Well, thank you so much for having me here today. I, I can't think of anything more important than making sure our kids have a great start. And when I think about this race, I think about how hard change really is. Uh, you know, I have led an enormous amount of change in my life. I started in a cubicle at CVS and worked my way up to run all of retail. Along the way, I ended up having 200,000 people working for me and an $80 billion budget. So I know how to get things done. I, ha I know how to make change happen. I was able to lead our decision to get out of cigarettes, which was a decision I was incredibly proud of. It's, a, it's an example of a very hard decision that we made together, we made as a team. And I know from my business experience how important it is to do things like you know, building a strong economy so we can invest in resources, putting money back in people's wallets and, and making this state affordable, whether it's housing or prescription drug prices, where we could be the first in the country to have zero co-pays. But I'm running against the status quo at some level. I'm running against the notion that, you know, what we have is good enough. It's Rhode Island. This is how it works in Rhode Island. And this is what career politicians have given us. A lot of platitudes, a lot of working with all of you, but not producing results. And that's what I'm all about. And I, I can't think of anything more important than our kids. In fact, if you look at the broader education platform in our state, only 33% of our kids pass their grade level reading tests and 20% math. And I am the only candidate who has said, if I don't improve our kids' scores, I won't run again. And to me, that's what accountability is. You deserve to have a governor who will hold herself accountable for our children, for everyone in this state, and not just be part of the inside deal. And that's why it would be an honor for me to serve all of you, and I really look forward to it. So thank you.